Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha Truth Lies Within, and we're going to do the recording of 28th of March, that is yesterday's scholarly blessing. And we're going to learn that how can we be free from all attractions and become angels from Brahmins. Let's understand that. What are angels? We're going to explore that over, also over here. So, in the heading, Godfather says, May you become free from all attractions and become angels from Brahmins. Angels are generally shown little higher from the earth that means they don't have that's a symbol that they don't have any attachment to earth and earthly desires that's why angels are always shown lighter who will then become deities and liberated in life may you become free from all attractions and become angels from brahmins who will then become deities and liberated in life for this to understand it in a deeper manner we'll have to do the seven day course that how can we become from a normal human being into an angel First into a Brahmin, then from a Brahmin to an angel, and then a divine human being. That means liberated in life, liberated from all the troubles and tribulations in life. At the confluence age, this is a confluence age, for the rest of the world it's known as Iron Age, Kali Yuga. But for us Brahmins who have got this knowledge, it's a confluence age or a Sangam Yuga. Brahmins have to change into angels. Those souls who don't want any physical things in this world, don't have any physical desires, don't do any kind of service for any name fame that is yeah. a subtle desire for the mind to be happy subtle desire and physical desires that means some gift is given to me some applaud is given to me or some certificate is given to me or my name is kept over there that is physical desire so at the confluence age brahmins have to change into angels they're always serving others but they don't want anything earthly angels means those who have no relationship with any attraction of the old world Old sanskars and old bodies. This is an old body. I don't have any desires from this old body. I don't have any desires from the old habits which I had. Old habits of doing things in return for things. Totally free from all three. This is why in the drama, we are all actors in this drama. You first of all receive the inheritance of liberation. First of all, we go into liberation. That means into mukti. And then of liberation in life then we come down on earth when there is already heaven on earth very few souls all the rest of the religious souls are up billions and billions of souls have gone back up and only a few lakh souls are there on earth then you are in heaven on earth again the trauma starts so an angel means one who's liberated liberated from what liberated from worldly desires from greed from anger from ego from jealousy for only a liberated angel will become a deity now this is your secret a liberated angel angel is not something somebody who's flying in the sky you too can become an angel who's lighter in the mind and is desireless of this world has things is using everything for godly service for the service of God because angels are God's messengers you're doing everything which you have in your life for godly service and yet not desiring anything from this old world because you can't have both God and this world even in the Guru Granth Sahib it's mentioned you can't have both the things. You can't be having the desires of this world at the same time desiring that God give you love and peace and happiness. It can't be. So either you are having the complete nasha or uh, intoxication of this world or you're completely intoxicated with God. So the middle path is you're having everything around you of this world, using it and converting it into godly attainments. How do you do that? You do that. learn that at Brahma Kumaris. God says... So an angel means one who is liberated, for only a liberated angel will become a deity. When you Brahmins become angels who are free from all attractions and then become deities, matter will serve all of you with her heart and life. Matter means five elements. You will have all the physical attainments in this world. When you don't want anything, everything comes to you. Free from all attractions, then become deities. Matter will serve all of you with her heart and life with a lot of love so the five elements that means mind over matter greed means matter over mind so god wants us to reach that level where mind is over the matter that's what we learn in brahma kumaris the complete tactics and the complete method of it you too can do so and with this om shanti